Hey guys, my name is Umo. I'm a fashion entrepreneur and pattern drafter. Welcome to University of Pattern Drafting, a channel where I share my expertise in pattern drafting and garment construction through tutorials. So guys, what happened today is was that I was um, creating a wedding dress for a client, a cut wedding dress to be precise, and I wanted to create the tail area of the mermaid dress and I just decided to film the process because I feel like this tutorial will be helpful to a lot of us here. So here goes nothing guys but before i begin this tutorial i wanted to say thank you to my new subscribers welcome and thank you to my new subscribers guys i am so glad that you have joined this family and if you are watching this and you haven't subscribed like seriously please hit on the um subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video so on to the tutorial guys I had created my the pattern for the front part of my skirt and so this is it it's actually on fold because of the design that um, what I'm trying to create in the front and when I mean skirt part I mean that it's a dress but this is the skirt part of the dress so it begins at about maybe I think about 2.5 inches above the navel line so here is my skirt pattern and I am going to be using this to create the back of my of the skirt part of my dress. So this begins at I think about 18 inches. So it's about 18 inches to the length that the client wanted is I think 65 inches. Yeah, I think it was 65 inches she wanted. Or maybe about 60 yeah i think about 65 inches 63 to 65 inches thereabouts so this is this front part i'm just going to go ahead and place this on spread this out so the folded area is actually the center of my pattern paper do you understand that guys So one of the first things that I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this front pattern by 2 inches. That extra 2 inches is actually my zipper allowance. So I'm going to extend it all the way to the um, floor length by 2 inches before I now create the tail. So I have placed, guys, it is a cut wedding dress. And so the fabric, this is white Mikado fabric. So bear with me, guys. If the, the contrast is not enough for you to see what I'm doing clearly, so just bear with me but i've placed this front my front um, skirt pattern on to the fabric that i am using to create the back pattern or the back of my skirt and the first thing i'm going to do is extend the length of my front skirt pattern by eight inches guys so for the tail you can use between eight and 22 inches just depending on how long you want the tail of the dress to be but this is a cut wedding dress so um i don't think it um, requires that much drama so i just stuck with eight inches more so the it's actually a straight um it's straight in front and then it just has that tail at the back so i just wanted some just a really small tail not anything um, overly elegant so this is me extending my center front by two inches that's so that would um, serve as my zipper allowance for the back. So I first extended that by 2 inches, guys. And then before I now proceeded to create the tail of my dress. So just go ahead and just draw the line. This is white fabric, so as much as possible, I didn't want to... Um, make the chalk markings too bold so that it won't be difficult to clean off once i'm done since this is a white fabric most of it's even a wet ginger so i have to be careful about all those things so guys please bear with me so this is i've extended can you see the pink line i've extended i've created the um zipper allowance and then i'm going to go ahead to create the tail so for the tail what you can do is your tail should start at about 10 inches below your hip line or maybe about two inches above your knee um your knee points jiggers so now from that 
two inches above my knee point to the extra eight inches to the end of the extra eight inches that i um created remember i said i extended the front part by eight inches it's 33 inches that's what i was showing you the other time and so i'm going to add two inches to that making it 35 inches and then i am going to place the tape rule in a diagonal way such that 35 inches i'm going to shift the camera now so that you can see what i'm doing okay so that is the knee that is two inches above the knee line that's where i place the tape rule and this is at this is after the two inches for my zipper allowance guys and so i just used a a dag i placed it in a diagonal um way do you understand okay so i decided to use 36 instead of 35 actually so can you see that guys so i'm just creating a diagonal line so from two inches above my knee to that um extra eight inches um thing that i marked and so this is a diagonal line so can you see this guys remember that the paper is placed where this um the pattern for the skirt pattern the front skirt pattern stops is eight inches above the hem the edge of this my fabric guys can you see that so just take note of that guys and then go to the other end of your front skirt pattern and just use a curved line see what i'm doing guys use a curved line to connect it to the end of that diagonal line that you just drew do you understand that guys so just use a curved line to just connect it can you see so I'm just this is just freehand I'm just connecting it to that point apologies for the chalk not being bright bold enough I couldn't um, I didn't want to make a line lines that were too bold so that it won't be difficult to clean off when I'm done seeing as the fabric is white so See what I have done, the diagonal line and then the curved line. That's the curved line. That's see how I just connected it to the edge. Can you see that guys? So it's pretty easy, it's just a really easy thing to do, guys. So I'm going to just go ahead and cut this out and then also cut it along the two inches zipper allowance. And then also I have about half an inch allowance at the um top part of my skirt pattern. So this is me going ahead to cut it if you haven't subscribed at this point please make sure that you pause and hit the subscribe button so that you would be updated whenever i upload a new video and then so that you can improve your skill your pattern drafting skills as well guys so this is me just cutting out the fabric and then you would see how the end result of my tail is it's just a moderate tail if you want if you want something more elegant and more you can use between 8 inches to 22 inches can you see that guys so this is how my tail looks like and so that is basically that so i'm going ahead to cut the upper parts um i forgot to shift the camera guys <laughs> it's youtube filming thing eh? as in but guys just bear with me so essentially what i'm doing here is i'm just um cutting the um top part of the skirt and i'm going ahead to also cut the side for me my own side the side of my skirt is is the side of my dress it's actually a straight dress with a tail at the back so that's why i went ahead to just cut and that was basically all guys so thanks so much for watching guys this this was just a sharp video that i've been wanting to upload and i'm so glad I'm fi i finally edited it and i'm like uploading it so guys <laughs> please give me a thumbs up and then if this was if you found this helpful please ensure that you drop a comment or drop a feedback in the comment section i would appreciate that guys thanks so much for watching ciao